Hello, welcome to Swing Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. Uh, yeah, I'm in, in the car again. It's the end of the night. Just for those of you that are not you're new to my channel, I don't drink and drive. Uh, this is just um, sometimes when I've, when I've just pulled up and uh, there's no way in the house to do a beer review or it's too dark to do one outside, I'll just sit in my car and do one. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I roll. So anyway, here we go. This is not Christmassy. It depends when this one comes up. It depends when I put it up on show. But it, I am doing it during the Christmas period. But this one's finishing up, uh, or just rounding up some a couple of the beers that I bought uh, at B and M. And this is Taproom Craft British Beer Selection. It, so it says uh, Perch Rock Pale Ale Session Pale Ale, brewed uh, on the Mersey. Okay, there we go. Merry Christmas! Let's get a better picture. Let's get a better quality picture of that. Uh, is that better? Mm, because of the light, light's bad in it. So there we go. That's, that's going to be my thumbnail, I think. Uh, okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, a 3.30 can. This came at 99 pence. The last one I had was... Oh, shout out to me then. The uh, last one I had was fantastic. So I'm hoping this one is just as good. So this comes in at 4.8%. Uh, the other one was great. I think I get it like an 8 out of 10. And I had their lagers on it. I drunk their lager. I didn't review it. I drunk it, but I really liked it. It was a 2.8%, so like a really low ABV beer. Well, okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm sorry the light's not very good in here. Um, so it's a lovely uh, golden. It's as clear as can be. So it's filtered. So there's no bits floating around in there. It's not can conditioned, like many beers are these days. We've got about two fingers worth of light, white, fluffy head. It's a straw-coloured beer. Uh, it's, it's a blonde. It's like you'd expect a pale ale to look like. On the aroma. On the aroma, I'm getting little tangerines on there. Little, or little oranges. A little bit of lemon and sort of slight grapefruit on there. Like you would normally get, but... Yeah, a little bit of Earl Grey tea. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Earl Grey tea in a pale ale. Or maybe not Earl Grey tea, but just a bit of tea. You get that, I think, in, in, in hops. You get, when you when you smell a tea bag, if you ever feel like smelling a tea bag one day, give it a go. It smells nice, it smells nice and fresh, and you get all the herbal quality from it. Sometimes get that with um, with beer, you know. Yeah, it's quite quite sprightly. I'm gonna give it a swish and give it a better smell later because it's it's a bit too. I can't really swish that in the car; it's gonna go everywhere. So I think I'm getting a slight slight tropical note on that as well. Very slight. I think it's there. But yeah, let's go. That's good. That's good. That's lovely. Straight away, lovely. Really lovely beer. 99 pence. Go out and buy this. Straight away. It's got to be a good beer, this one. I'm impressed straight away. You're getting little gingery spicy notes on the, on the hops, which is really nice. Everything you expect on a pale ale. Um, almost like little um, lemony, gingery, biscuit sort of notes. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a medium-bodied beer. It's it's crisp. It's got a nice softness to it. The hops are lovely. I think this brewery have cracked the balance of hops and malts in a beer. And I will, one thing I will say is. I've drunk three of their beers now, and the malts are lovely, and they really do accompany the the, the hot character of the beers. Um, it's got a lovely bready, but it's like a bready biscuitiness that's very light still, but it's still there. Slight caramel, I suppose. Oh, and, and now I'm swishing it around, yet yeah, you're getting some more tropical notes. You're getting little peaches, little mangoes. Maybe not mango, but a little bit of pineapple. It's good. It's a lovely, lovely beer, this. Really nice. This is better than the other one. This is better than the other one. That's lovely. It's got that lovely Moorish aftertaste, which is actually quite quintessentially British. And that's what I think I quite like about this brewery. It's got this lovely malt base. Reminds me a little bit of Thwaites, I must admit. They're lovely, they're, they're lovely multi bases that they have for their beers. But on top of that, you've got these lovely continental hops. Oh, I really like that. 
I really, really like that. Let's see what it says. A balanced and refreshing session pale ale, floral and citrus notes, super drinkable. <laughs> yeah. Um, perfectly sessionable, brewed citrus chinook, <coughs> eureka hops, in small batches at award winning microbrewery in Wirral Peninsula. <gasps> One of a limited edition range of craft brews exclusively for the tap room craft beer selection. I don't want this to be limited edition. I want this to be in the shelves of B&M week in, week out. That is a fantastic little beer, that. That is a fantastic beer for 99p. Mm. Lovely little citrus notes running through it. Um, really Moorish uh, what's it say here so, yeah super drinkable and it is and I've got this lovely 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 coating on my tongue that is slightly herbal slightly hoppy but it's not overpowering it's just really complimentary of this style of beer uh, really good top top draw stuff this I think this is really good yeah, and I keep saying for 99p, I've got to bear that in mind. And I think the fact that it's 99p is probably going to elevate it a little bit in my rating. Um, look at that. Thanks for watching, people. Thanks for subscribing. Really appreciate all the views and subs subscriptions and everything. Um, thanks for... I, I know the people that watch my beer reviews, and I know the kind of people, probably like-minded people like myself, who like to just drink beer and appreciate it for what it is. Yes, my opinion is probably different to other people's, I give you my 100% honest opinion. I'm not influenced by what other people think about beers. In fact, user, I don't watch other people's beer reviews before I drink the beer. Because I just want to go in and decide for myself what I think. Um, and, and, I, and this is a really nice beer. I think this is fab. This is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, and it's got a lovely finish to it. It's a little bit dry, not much. It's a well, but it's just a balanced beer. But it's got these lovely little citrus notes that sing through it, um, with this lovely malt backbone. I think to myself, if I maybe if I'd have drunk something before this, something that's probably a little bit more hoppy, something that's a little bit more, I don't know, uh, stronger. Maybe I wouldn't pick up all these flavours, and I might, it might be almost like a throwaway beer. And that, that might be the case, but actually, I've drunk this on an empty pallet, and it's lovely. It's fantastic. I've drunk a lot, I've drunk a lot of beers on empty pallets before, and I've still said, nah. Um, fantastic beer. Well done. Well done, tap room. You, with this beer, tap room, if you're watching, you're going to get a 9 out of 10. That's just an outstanding beer. And that's exactly what it is. It's an outstanding beer. All right. Thanks for watching, people. I'll see you on the next review. Bye-bye.